Welcome back to another video. This is code for this round 9092.3. We are going to solve the third problem that is Yarik and Array. So the problem is pretty straightforward. We have to find the maximum sum of non-empty subarray. So subarray means a continuous set of elements inside an array. And why did they say specifically non-empty? I guess that uh, if we have an array full of negative numbers, we can't just say zero. We can't not say it's an empty set and zero. You have to find the maximum sum of the non-empty subarray. And one more thing is, if we choose a subarray, it should have alternating parities for adjacent elements. What do you mean by parity means? Uh, it is either odd or even. Parity represents the state of that. So if the subarray is like one, two, three, it is acceptable. Why? One is odd, two is even, three is odd. But 1, 2, 4 is not acceptable because 1 is odd, 2 and 4 is consecutive and adjacent and it is even. So we cannot consider that subarray. So we very well know like uh, cadence algorithm is there. We know how to find the maximum sum subarray. Uh, but uh, let's try to figure out. We have one more catch, right? With the same parity, we are unable, we should not do like that. So uh, tell me one thing. Here positive integers, negative integers, many num uh, like those uh, positive and negative can come. So we need to handle that also. Now, if uh, I have to find the maximum sum subarray, only positive numbers means what happens. Uh, so let's try to figure out that. If it is only positive numbers, I just have to insert that number, right? We insert the number and we increment the number. That is, we add it to the sum, sum plus equal to b. And uh, we can directly print the sum. But since negative number also is there, I can keep a variable called max c and keep max here, max of maxi comma sum because negative number also can come that's why we are doing this now when can we add the number they very well told that the number should be of different parity from the previous one so what do i do for first element alone i take from before for loop okay this is for first element and for loop i can start from i equal to one instead of i equal to zero now if we take the first element what will be the sum the sum will be the first number only and then for parity, let's do like this. Uh, it is just, uh, you just want to know even or odd, right? Generally, if we take, we do b mod 2 equal to equal to zero, right? So like that, I choose to do, let's do absolute value of b mod 2. And uh, sometimes it's very important to keep absolute because negative can give you a different meaning. So we just give, if it is uh, even number, what it is, 4 mod 2, it gives zero. If it is odd number, it gives one. We know the parity of the first number. By default, let's set the maxi value to sum only, that is b, both are same. Now we'll iterate through the second element to the last. We already made sure the code is ready. When can we add the sum? When If the uh, adjacent parity is different. So we check the current parity. Current parity, what is that? Absolute value of b mod 2 is not equal to the previous number's parity. That is this variable, right? Par. If this is possible, then we do sum plus equal to b. Else what we need to do, we can't do anything. Like we should not add it. We assume that that is the first number that needs to be formed in the sum. So we keep sum equal to b. Like what I'm trying to say is, let's say 1, 2 and 4 comes means 1 plus 2 comes here. Sum plus equal to b. 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. But if 4 comes, we cannot add it to 3, right? We just have to start from 4 again. Then if 5 or uh, 7, something like that comes, you go 4, then you add 5. 4 is different parity with 5, right? So 4 plus 5, you add. Again, 5 and 7 is same, different, sorry, same parity. So go to 7 and start from that again. That's what this sum does. Now max C, everything is fine. But there is one more issue here. What is the issue? So we... Uh, what did we do now? We added all the elements. We found the maximum value. If positive and negative numbers come, that is fine. Uh, and when should we add? If the numbers are of different parity, we add it. But one more thing is, if the numbers are different parity, we understood and add. But uh, we should uh, change the parity of that number also, right? So what do we do? Parity equal to absolute value of B mod 2. The present uh, parity also we need to figure out. This is the previous parity. So present parity, this becomes, this variable will be referred to the next number. Now, in some cases, if it's like a negative number, if minus 100 something comes and then minus 1 comes, let's say the sum became like minus 100 and b is minus 1. 
in this case what we need to do so we should not add right like minus 99 only we'll get if we add the sum we get minus 99 but instead of that we can start from here only so what do we do instead of minus 100 minus 1 if we compute it if we get one value we just have to fair, uh, check that whether b is greater than sum if minus 1 is greater than minus 99 then we can say that sum equal to b right so instead of all of this you can just say that if uh, b is greater than sum you can say sum equal to b and this parity is already taken care of so that's how we figured out the solution we just started from only positive numbers we understood that it is the whole no every number in the array then cadence algorithm also says that if it is negative number you just keep adding it and uh, put the maxi comma sum and this is also already there in cadence algorithm only if b is greater than sum sum equal to b only thing is like you have to add this condition that is you have to check with previous parity with the current parity so that is one thing and if it is not we assume that we have to start if the parities are same we have to start from that number so that's it guys and uh, this is the code that's been written by me before this so and uh, this is the submission link so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments we'll be very glad to help thank you